briefly, the idea behind the mainstream media, I mean, defeating the main, the uh, Citizen Guide to Defeating the Mainstream Media came from my travels um, primarily last year, um, doing a lot of Tea Party event rallies, going to a lot of Republican events, um, just doing a lot of campaigning back home in Pennsylvania. And so I watched how the media covered the election results. And instead of it being, you know, uh, the uh, celebration of our republic, the freedom of our republic, they made it seem like this was going to be the, the wrong term for our country and, and how conservatives were going to destroy uh, the country. And I thought, like, wow, that is so false. But I'm not surprised by the media. We all, we know the media bias is there. We've almost became to, begun to accept it. Well, that's just how it is. We can't do anything about the media. And I was like, no, I'm not going to accept that. So what can I do? Having you know, got my degree in political science, having worked in the media, having worked in politics for so many years, what can I do? So that was the genesis of the uh, of this my latest book. I wanted to be a reference book so people can really understand what's going on behind the curtain. So you know, when I say defeating the mainstream media, I want people to understand that I'm not saying destroy the mainstream media. I want to defeat the media as we know it today. I wanted to go back to the way the founders uh, intended it for it to be, and that is simply to be a watchdog, an unbiased watchdog, and not to be a part of the story. I don't think that's too much to ask. So, but the only way that we can get that is for people who watch the news, who read the newspapers, to understand exactly what they're, what they're doing, and that way we can begin to hold them at a higher standard if, most, if we understand exactly what it is that they're doing. So uh, a little bit about me, I'm Andre Harper, I graduated from Florida A&M University uh, in 2003, worked six years for United States Senator George Moynihan of Ohio, I was a district representative there, got to work in politics, know a lot of politicians firsthand, so that's kind of how I know a lot of this stuff. And when I worked for the senator, I would go out and do public speaking, and people, I would say, tell people, don't trust the government. And they would say, well, why would you say that? You work for the government. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I know. Trust yourself. And so, and then many of you all uh, met me through doing things the Danish show, uh, right for bright arts, uh, the journalism, and right for a lot of different places. So, um, we want to talk about propaganda. Um, propaganda is defined as uh, information, ideas, or rumors deliberately spread widely to help or harm a person, group, movement, institution, or nation, etc. This simply means using communication to advance an agenda. And so when God, when God made the Ten, the Ten Commandments, way back in the day, He did it because people were having issues issue with lying, adultery, theft, and etc. Now you fast forward today, 2011, People are still having issues with lying, adultery, theft, etc. So, you know, times change, but people don't change. And the one thing that I know about people that I've learned is people we all, we're all motivated by our self-interest. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, some people are, are motivated by getting more money. Some people want power. Some people want to make themselves feel good by helping others, whatever it is. But we all are motivated by something. And the founders of the United States understood that. They understood that people can be consumed by power. So, uh, and so, but they know when we they created our civilized civilized society, unlike many of the other uh, situations we see in the world, where guns and bullets are the weapons of choice. In our civilization, in our civilized words are the weapons of choice. So, if you want to secure power in our in our country, you need to be able to be effective with the use of language.